And good evening and welcome to Scare to a Sunday Synopsis for Sunday, November the 29th. It's nearly Christmas. And good evening and welcome to Scare to a Sunday Synopsis for Sunday, November the 29th. Yes, can you believe Christmas is actually only about three and a half weeks away, uh, which is quite scary with obviously all the new rules that are going on at the moment, whether you can celebrate with your family or not. But uh, Christmas is here. It's the end of the year. Um, but obviously, we like to talk about scary stuff. So while we're talking about Christmas, we will just remind people about the Christmas gift guide, which is now on the main website. Uh, we've got a list here of companies that are doing vouchers or little trinkets and different things. Do go and have a look at the Christmas gift guide. If you're not sure what to buy a horror loving fan in your family or your family are asking you what you want for Christmas, um, you can send them a link to that. Um, obviously, with all that's going on with coronavirus at the moment, there's a lot of events that aren't able to open or uh, escape rooms aren't able to open. So if you, if you do get a chance to support people like that instead of buying stuff off Amazon, um, give them a chance, buy a gift certificate. That might actually be the lifeline that some of these events need. Remember, we've already lost Handmade Mysteries this year. Um, they were unable to keep going as a viable business during lockdown and they've gone that's lady chastity's reserve and all their games have gone we don't want any other experiences to go under so if you do get a chance to support them please do but what does the new uh, coronavirus uh, restrictions and the new tiers mean well obviously everyone is aware we have gone into a much stricter um, zone where basically everybody is in either tier two or tier three now within tier two you cannot mix with other people in an indoor environment so if you are to go anywhere that, that is open like um, like the dungeons or escape room or anything like that you have to be in your own family bubble and um, then they will try and keep you away as, uh, as much as they can so we know the dungeons are very good at social distancing we've seen it at Alton Towers uh, and Blackpool Dungeon and um, yeah we're sure that they will continue to do that because looking at the rules at the moment uh, looking at the announcements we've seen that York Dungeon have announced that they will be opening this week as will London Dungeon so that's good news for people who like like some scares as I say we're quite confident that they know how to keep people socially distant but you will need to visit in your own family bubble so that's quite an important thing um on top of that we've seen that because of the zone three restrictions that blackpool tower dungeon will not be reopening because blackpool is in a zone three um area we were actually due to go to blackpool next weekend uh and we've had all our hotels cancelled and everything which is a bit of a shame so um yeah blackpool tower dungeon is closed and the passage del terra is obviously closed as part of blackpool pleasure beach so those are the, imme the immediate things we know. What we haven't heard yet is whether Scare Kingdom Screen Park, which is within a zone three and it was able to manage to operate at the end of the last lockdown during a zone three, but the rules are a lot harder this year. They were due to open either next weekend or the weekend after and whether they were actually being able to, we haven't had an official announcement yet. So in other news, we've seen that uh, Scream farm Mallorca has been announced that's uh, an island in Spain so we're looking forward to see hearing more about that and uh, potentially when Covid is over and travel restrictions are all over we might be able to get out over there and see what's going on um, so also with the uh, with the zones you know a lot of escape rooms won't be opening but we know that in London we've seen that um, Horror Escape London is actually going to be opening uh, next week and um, and a few other attractions as well so obviously as we hear things we will list them on the website and we will let you know talking of London uh, we've managed to um, do a bit of an illustrated history of the London Dungeon can you believe the London Dungeon is over 46 years old I think we first went when I was well I probably went when I was about 10 maybe 11 or so but yeah that attraction is very very old and uh, we've got some really interesting pictures on a page on the website so if you're looking at looking to see what the dungeon used to look like uh, it was definitely more of a museum of torture and horror more than the 
themed shows that we get at the moment but you can have a look at that also on the website we've got our review of eternal by darkfield radio now i can't stress enough how freaky this show was uh, we've done all of the uh, darkfield shows and normally they're sat you're sat in the dark in your kitchen or a lounge or whatever this one we were laying in our own bed alone um and the sound effects and everything around you made it feel like there was somebody in the bed next to you. There was somebody laying in the bed next to you, whispering in your ear. Uh, genuinely terrifying, um, unnerving, very unsettling, very clever. I would highly recommend you um, give that a try when it opens next week. Um, I think it's Tuesday might be the first night this week. So do give that a try. It's only £5 a ticket. It's absolutely worth it, but it is very freaky. And that's it. That is the news for this week. It's been a really, really quiet week. It's not surprising. We're on the run up to Christmas. But, you know, as we've all said on this site, a scare attraction news and review site is not just for Halloween. It's year round. There's always something going on. So we're going to be with you every week with the Sunday synopsis. There will always be updates on the main website. And uh, we look forward to bringing you all the news as it comes. So with that, we just need to remind everyone, please stay safe. St please follow the regulations as we change from current lockdown into the new tiers next week. Um, let's all work to get this over with early next year. Let's get back to normal for 2021. If that's one New Year's resolution, I think that everybody needs to have this year is that we work hard to get back to normal because we're all sick of this um and we just want to get on with our lives and get out and being scared so with that we're signing off we will see you next week and have a good weekend bye, -bye.